Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jesse here with JLS Comics. I'm back for another video. Just wanted to show the books that I got for, I guess it's kind of the whole of December for the new comic books. Um, I know some people like to see these, what we're picking up and stuff each week. So I figured I'd show what I, I've gotten. Um, I've gotten a bunch of back issues too. So today we're just going to take a look at the, um, the new comic book day. Um, you know, the books that have been released in December. So I'm going to be able to see what I've been reading. So... Got a few here, so we'll just get right into it. Uh, the first uh, book we can see here, it is Spider-Gwen, issue number 15. Um, there you go, cool cover. Uh, next we have Batman, issue number 12. This has gotten uh, pretty good, um, Batman that is. So, I've been liking this title all the way through. It's definitely stuck with it. Another one I really enjoy. Detective Comics, that's issue number 946. Cool cover, a lot of people had this in their hauls as well. That's uh, Superman, issue number 12. And this is issue 505, Deadpool, Back in Black. That is an homage, it's uh, McFarlane. With apologies to Todd McFarlane, it says. So they always put the artist name and then whoever it was original. Uh, obviously, um, Spider-Man number one, Spider-Man 13, homage, so there you go. Uh, next we have Deadpool, this is issue 23, um, there you go. Uh, we had Superman 12, right? Yeah. So Superman 13, you know what, I would talk a little about the story and stuff, but I haven't actually read these yet. I just kind of got caught up, um, on my new books from, uh, like the Thanksgiving time, so I'm a little bit behind. I've read some of them, but not all of them. Um, Lady Mechanica, La Dama de la Muerta. Amazing cover. Really, really beautiful cover. Look at that. There you go. Alright, next, first part of... Justice League versus the Suicide Squad. Okay, that's a regular cover. I got some others. I'm gonna show them to you in a different haul, some of the variants that I got. So I'm actually waiting for one more to come in. If it will focus, focus, there we go. Uh, waiting for one more of the variants to come in. So hopefully be able to show you that uh, sometime this coming week here. So stay tuned on that. Um, Alright, so then we have Harley, issue number 9. This is the one where the, the this is cover A, the Amanda Connor one. Um, this um, cover B was the one that Frank Cho did, and it was the um, Yellow Brick Road one from Oz. And actually, I happened to like this one better, so I, I went for that one. Um, Harley is one of the few where I'll definitely pick up the A and the B. But for the most part, I try to do A or B, so... Um, here's an example of one where I did the A and the B. Okay. It's Harley number 10. That's the Amanda Connor cover. And then this is the one with Frank Cho. And you can see her there. Um, coming down the chimney, I guess, right? So there she is. Pretty cool. She's stuck in there with her bag. Got her bat bombs, her joker, and, um... The brass knuckles kind of fell. I don't know, fun cover. Uh, but I like Frank Cho's covers on these. Well, not just Frank Cho's covers on these, Frank Cho in general. Alright, Michael Jannon. Batman 13 with Tom King. Spidey 22. Gwenpool 9. This is the Michael Cho cover for IVX. Uh, Humans vs. X-Men 1. Um, definitely like the setup there. I like how it started. Wait a minute. Oops. Looks like I accidentally bought two of these. See? Didn't mean to. But I got two now. The next book here, it's actually on my pull list. I requested it. It was not in my box, but when I went to the shelf, I saw it, so they messed up. Anyways. It was the last cover they had, so I was glad to find it there. 
Uh, this is Hillbilly, issue number four. All right, Reborn, issue three. That's been good so far, too. Story's moving along a little bit. All right, Black Eyed Kids, number nine. That continues to be good. Um, Joe Pruitt and Kudransky. Really great team on this. Uh, next we have Old Man Logan number 15. Now I did read up to issue 14 on this. And this is the first one where Sorrentino's off and Andrade is the new artist. And I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan of it. Um, if it continues this way, it used to be a favorite book of mine. I, I may just uh, drop it. Um, so we'll see. I'll give it like one more issue and, and see. But for me, I really did not like the art on it. Up to issue 13 was fantastic. 14, it was just, uh, didn't like the art. Let's put it that way. All right, all new Wolverine, issue number 15. Um, big reveal at the end of 14, and they're on their way to Madripoor to find out who dropped the, uh, the planes flew over the town and dropped all the, um, the scent. Um, she ended up killing the whole town, so she's going to find out, hopefully, who did that. Um, here's one that everybody should have picked up because it was 25 cents. It's the uh, preview cover or preview issue, basically issue zero for the new volume upcoming here of Red Sonia via Dynamite. Haven't read this yet, but everybody says it's really good. So that's the newest volume of Thanos. So that's issue number one. That's uh, Jeff Lemire, Mike Sedato, both great, great writer, great artist. Uh, I can say that uh, about this book as well. Um, great writer, great artist. Jason Aaron and Oliver Copil is the artist on it. Uh, issue number one was uh, surprisingly good to me. And I say surprisingly because I haven't read too much of the Thor stuff. And I heard um, Justin from Exile State Comics, his channel, talking about that issue. So I picked it up um, when I was on a trip. And uh, I was really uh, blown away by how good it was. And, you know, just the, the story and the art and everything. Uh, it was really, really good. Um, this is a five-part mini, so we're getting up to, uh, you know, moving through the arc, you know, with issue two already. So I'm looking forward to reading that. And then this is the uh, cover B uh, for Motor Crush, issue number one. Pretty cool cover. All right. Next two I picked up uh, for my shop. Um, I wanted to try this book. I've heard really good things about it, but I don't want to pick up the 20, so I got the image first for Black Science. Something I might check out and trade. Um, and then the next one I was super happy to get was Animosity number one. Okay. Now on this one, pretty cool cover there. Um, on this one, Actually, it's it goes for a bit more than than this on uh, on eBay and stuff, but um, it has a couple of the dings on the side. But um, I got brought up to the counter. It was at Books a Million, and I said, "Hey, can you do better on the price?" There's a couple of dings over here. It's not a perfect book, and um, she's like, "Yeah, I'll give you ten percent off." So um, instead of it being you know paying the eBay price, I actually got the. It's a first uh, first print as well. I got it for uh, less than cover. It came out to three fifty three dollars and. 50 cents, so that was pretty good. I was happy to find that. Um, but that is it, folks. Uh, those are my new books. I had a big stack there, so I just cruised through and really haven't read them, so I can't give you my uh, opinion on them. But maybe in the future, if there's any there that you were interested in looking at or seeing more of the interior on, let me know in the comments and I can do maybe a review or uh, at least a spotlight on one of them if, if you want. Um, but that's going to be it. Uh, quick announcement, the uh, comic conversation, my uh, JLS comic show, is going to be back at, on January 10th. Um, so we're going to start on that day. Next week I'm going to be on a trip in San Diego. If anybody is in that area, let me know. Um, or can recommend a good shop over there. Um, but the week after, uh, we'll definitely fire up the show again. I'm looking forward to that. Um, so that's my quick announcement on that. Um, but uh, go ahead and uh, give me a thumb, whichever one you want. Uh, hopefully you liked it and you'll thumb it up. If it's your first time stopping by, also don't forget to hit that old uh, subscribe button. Um, stick around, get a lot more stuff. I got some really cool back issues to show. Um, I was really tempted to do them in this video. 
but I'm going to save them for another one because I'm waiting on a couple things to come in first. So that should do it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I tried to keep it oh, right around the 10-minute mark, so we're good there. Um, but this is Jesse here, JLS Comics, and I'll see you next video. Later, everybody.